Hello and welcome to this series of videos. I wanted to explain to you what I'm planning to do so that you understand when you search for the 20 minute yoga classes that I'm expecting to, to record for you. I teach Hatha Yoga Gita style and there are particular reasons why I choose this style of yoga amongst what's so widely available. Part of it is because it's a very portable style. I have done this yoga in many places, on beaches, in halls, in hotel rooms, in tiny little spaces, because I can and it's portable and the sequence there's a structure to the sequence so that rather than thinking oh, what will I do next there is a structure for a reason and I like the fact that there's a reason for everything that I do in or that everything that we do everything we teach in this style of yoga being someone who is concerned about good health I am delighted that every posture that I do is focused on a particular aspect of the body's health. And I'd love to share that with you in this series of videos to follow. The plan is to, to do 20 minute videos with a specific focus. So because I'm an astrologer, I will focus on the astrological signs. So you might have one or two, maybe three videos per, per month for that. We will focus also on anxiety and stress maybe on monthly issues, maybe on back problems. And so each 20 minute class will have a focus. And if you choose to do several, that's up to you. But I know people's time is, is limited and uh, uh, it sometimes works to do at least a short, it's better to do a short sequence than no sequence at all. <coughs> Pardon me. With the beginning of every class, we will be doing a mudra and rather than explain to you at every class what a mudra is, I'm using this video to explain to you what a mudra is and why we, uh, why we do a mudra. You need to set yourself up in a place where you have no interruptions. Prepare yourself beforehand, have that drink of water, go to the toilet, make yourself feel comfortable in whatever way is going to allow you to sit comfortably for a few minutes in silence. You want to turn off the devices. You want to uh, close the doors to keep the dog and the cat out and the children and the partners and anybody else. This is time for you. This is your sacred space and you need the sacred space for yourself. So the mudra is essentially a seal of intent for the work that is to follow. It allows both hemispheres of the brain to balance the energies. It encourages correct breathing because you're expanding the lung space and oxygenating the body as much as possible. It calms the mind and it prepares the body for the practices to follow. So now let's work with the mudra. I'll, you can replay this as many times as you like, so I'll just go straight through it. Understand, we, we do it three times. And the first time is respecting yourself, because if you fill your own cup, you are then able, you have the energy to fill somebody else's. We next honour and respect other people, those with whom we work and inter interact most closely. And finally, we are respectful for the earth and the space in which the space on earth that we occupy. So let's begin. We're also working with energy. So just be mindful of that. And this is why we hold our forefinger and thumbs together and we keep our fingers straight. So find yourself in a sitting position on the floor. 
Uh, if your body can do lotus position, that is, this is the time to do it. I'm not about to teach that for you now, but you can do lotus in this uh, posture. If your body doesn't allow you to sit on the floor, or maybe you need a cushion behind your back on, on your spine to do that, that's, then that's fine. And I might just get a cushion for me this time. cushion there to tilt the pelvis forward a little bit. If, you, if your body doesn't let you sit on the floor, sit on a chair without a back so you can fold over. So take a few deep breaths just to calm the body and just let it go. Bring your mind, bring your awareness to that space inside of you that is who you really are. And let us begin. So expelling all the breath. And now breathing in. Triangle. Arms up to shoulder height. Gently bend the elbows and the wrists, palms facing out. Hold the breath there for a moment. And now breathing out, bending forward. If your head can touch the floor, let it do that. Cross the wrists behind your lower back and bow this first time, respecting yourself. Respecting yourself and the reason you're here on this earth. And now breathing in, raise the head up, arms up to shoulder height, gently bend the elbows and the wrists, palms facing out. Hold the breath for a moment and then release the breath. Back to... Uh, sitting on your hands, sitting on your knees. Breathing in. Arms up to shoulder height. Gently bend the elbows and the wrists, palms facing out. Hold the breath for a moment. And now folding forward, breathing out. Crossing the wrists again behind the lower back. And bowing the second time, respecting the others with whom you work most closely or your parents, partners, children. Respect the others in your life. And now breathing in, raise your head up, arms up to shoulder height, gently bend the elbows and the wrists, palms facing out. And release the breath, hands back to staff position. And one final time, breathing in, Triangle, arms up to shoulder height, gently bend the elbows and the wrists, palms facing out. Folding forward, crossing the wrists behind the lower back <clears throat> and bowing this final time, respecting your space on this earth. <clears throat> fresh, fresh air, fresh water, shelter and food. Bow and respect for your place on this earth. Breathing in, raise your head up, arms up to shoulder height, gently bend the elbows and the wrists, palms facing out. Release the breath and the hands. Allow your hands to relax and your elbows to come into your hips. And sitting up straight, close your eyes and just be in that space for a moment, appreciating the balance and the calm you have brought to your mind and your body and hopefully your soul.